Hi, this is a quick tutorial on getting set up and running with Node.js on Windows. Go to Node.js.org, go into the download section. Here you will find the Windows installer as well as Windows binary. Download the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version depending upon your Windows. I recommend that you download the MSI because that contains the Windows binary as well. Additionally, it contains features such as the Node Package Manager. I have both of these already downloaded on my computer. Now I'm going to run through the setup. I'm going to start it. The setup is extremely straightforward. Click next. Accept the license agreement. Select your destination folder. I recommend that you leave it as default. Leave these options as default. Make sure that add to parts is installed. It will make your life a lot easier. Click next and click install. And you're done. Now let's look at the installation folder. This contains node.exe, which is the same executable that you could have directly downloaded from the internet, which is why I recommend that you download and install using the MSI, because additionally the MSI will give you access to NPM, which is Nodes Package Manager. Inside here, you'll find a number of modules that Node comes with by default. Now let's look at the Node console. To start node.exe now you are inside the node console additionally you could start it directly from the command prompt using node this is because i had the paths option selected during the installer the node console provides a read evaluate print proof for javascript you can type in simple javascript and it works now let's have a look at installing simple node packages. You can access the node package manager using the npm command. If you want to install the package, you can do that using the npm install command. I'm going to install a test runner called Karma, which is a fantastic test runner by the AngularJS team at Google. I recommend that you always install your modules in a global namespace using the minus G option. It's going to download everything you need from the internet and set it up. The reason why I recommend that you install in the global namespace is because once this is installed, you will have access to the module if it provides such an access at the console. And that's all. Thanks.